If what if kapag na-discover naman ang loss units ay abnormal at the end of the process. Okay. So, yan yung cost of production report kapag na-discover yung loss units at the end of the process. So, class, try nyo answeran din after na yung uh, uh, panoorin yung video or pakinggan yung video. So, try nyo answeran na kayo ulit. Kayo lang para makita ninyo kung naintindihan ba. So, kung mapapansin ninyo yung format natin sa cost of production report ni Uh, iba sa mga libro na makikita nyo yung kay De Leon, kay Guerrero. But pareho, pareho lang. Pareho, pareho lang naman yan. But kasi sa akin, ito yung feeling ko na mas madaling tingnan kung paano siya nakuha. Okay, so pwede nyo rin naman gamitin yung sa kanila. Kaya lang kung cost of production report yung papagawa ko sa inyo, sana ganito na lang para madali siyang checkan pare-pareho tayo. Pare-pareho kayo ng uh, cost of production report. Okay. So, class, kapag end ng process na discover yung loss units, ang magkakaiba lang ay ano lang, pagdating dun sa cost ng loss units. So, dito, pareho lang sila pagdating sa uh, total units to account for and total units accounted for. So, except yung end dyan magiging A. So, kapag ang loss units ay na-discover at the end of the process, wala naman silang pinagkaiba ng normal. Okay, kapag yung abnormal end ng process na-discover. So, ganoon pa rin ang sign work done. So, pagdating dito sa uh, total cost to account for, pareho lang din sila. Saan sila magkakaiba? Pagdating dito sa total cost accounted for. Kasi, itong loss units na normal, chinarge natin kay completed and transferred. Pag abnormal loss units yan, so isa-separate natin yan as abnormal loss units. So saan natin i-charge yan? Sa factory overhead. Okay, so magiging ganito lang. Tatanggalin ko lang to Dito ilalagay natin as factory overhead. So i-add natin dito. So magiging tatlo yun nandito. So mababawasan yung cost ng completed and transferred. Okay. So, pagdating sa total cost accounted for, yung abnormal loss units natin, nakaseparate na siya. So, as factory overhead control. So, 5,000 times 11.5 equals 57,500. So, ito yung charge natin sa factory overhead control. So, 57,500. So, kanina, kapag normal at end ng process na discover, magkasama sila. Diba? Inad natin. But ngayon, since abnormal, so nakaseparate siya. So, ang working process ending natin ay same pa rin, 48,900. So, pag tinotal natin, ang, cost, ang total cost accounted for ay 566,400. So, ang total cost to account for ay 566,400. Okay? So, ano lang ang pinagkaiba nila doon kapag normal? Ito, pareho lang sila dyan. Pareho sila dito. sa nagkaiba? Dito. So, ni-separate natin, sineparate natin yung cost nung abnormal loss units natin. So, class, lagyan natin yung number 4. What if daw, pag yung loss units natin na abnormal, na na-discover at the end of the process, and yung spoiled units niya daw ay may sales value ng 7 pesos. Ano ibig sabihin? Kahit na loss unit siya, abnormal loss unit siya, maibebenta pa rin natin siya at 7 pesos. Kaya lang, di ba kasi magkano ba natin yung unit cost natin sa kanya? Di ba 11.5? So, ibig sabihin, lugi ka pa din. So, maibebenta pa rin mo, mo pa rin siya at 7 lang. Okay? So, ito yung sales value. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, ano mangyayari? Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin ganito. So, ganito yung mangyari class kapag uh, may sales value yung loss units natin. So, di ba ito, 5,000 times 11.5, ito yung unit cost natin, di ba? So, chinarge natin as factory overhead control na 57,500. But since may bebenta natin siya, yung i-charge natin na 57,500, mababawasan. Kasi itong 11.5 na to, yung 5,000 na to, so yung 5,000 na yan, may bebenta natin at 7. So, ibig sabihin yung 7 pesos na yan, tatanggalin natin dito sa 11.5, yun yung i-charge lang natin sa factory overhead. So, yung, yung uh, 7 pesos na may ibibenta natin sa 5,000, yun yung spoiled good units. 
So, ito lang yung mababago class. Kanina, 5,000 times 11.5, diba? So, but ngayon, 5,000 times 11.5 minus 7. So, kaya ano lang yan, 5,000 times 4.5. So, 22.5, balansahan natin i-re-record -re as factory overhead control. So, yung 7 pesos kasi, since maibibenta natin, so, mapupunta siya sa inventory. So, ang tawag sa kanya, spoiled goods inventory. So, 5,000 times 7 equals 35,000. So, yun lang. Kapag merong sales value. Okay? So, ito yung cost naman ng work in process ending. So, kapag in-enterihan pala natin yung class, so, ano lang magiging entry natin dyan? So, department uh, B siya, di ba? So, debit ito, work in process department B and credit work in process department A. So, 225,000. Tinanggal natin kay A, ginilagay natin kay B. Okay. So, yung sunod na entry naman, debit, work in process department B, yung total nitong 135 plus 206, 400. So, 341,400. Debit work in process department B, uh, 341,400. Credit materials, 135,000. Credit labor and overhead of 206,400. So, pwedeng pa pahiwalayin payroll of 103,200 and credit factory overhead applied of 103,400. Okay? So, tapos kapag in-entry na natin to, ito, tatanggalin na natin sa work in process ni um, work in process ni B, Department B, kaya pag in-entry natin yan, so, pag in naman natin to, debit finished goods, 460,000, debit factory overhead control, 22,500, credit spoiled goods inventory, 35,000. So, credit work in process department B of 517,500. Ito yung total nito. So, kaya pag nilagay mo ulit sa T-account yun, so, alalabas na ending na lang doon ay 48,900. Okay. So, pakita ko muna class sa inyo yung uh, cost of production report kapag may yung buo, pag may spoiled goods uh, inventory na or meron na sales value yung loss units natin. Tapos, sulat ko din yung entry. Okay. So, yan yung cost of production report na meron ng sales value yung loss units natin. Okay. So, assign work done. Ito, no, need to adjust the cost from proceeding. Tapos, yung uh, spoiled goods inventory, kung magkano yung sales value, yung natira dun sa unit cost, total unit cost, yun na lang yung chinar siya, factory overhead control. So, ito na lang yung entry class, ayan, yung kanina din sinabi ko, debit work in process department B, 225,000 and credit work in process department A, yan yung cost from proceeding department. Then, yung pangalawa, work in process department B, 341,400 Credit materials, 135,000. Payroll, 103,200. And factory overhead applied, 103,200. Yan yung cost added natin during the period. So, ngayong period na to. Tapos, ito yung finished goods, 460,000. Spoiled goods inventory, 35,000. And factory overhead control, 22,500. So, credit work in process, department B. So, pag nilagay mo yun sa T-account, ang work in process na matitira doon sa ending ay yung... 48,900. Okay.